The full-size luxury market is expanding rapidly, and the iconic navigator's position is being challenged by new contenders. Lincoln's SUV took a hit in the first quarter of this year, with a 25% sales drop compared to the same period in 2023, raising red flags within the company. The update of the 2025 Navigator is going to bring serious changes, outside, inside, and maybe even under the hood. Without further ado, let's check what to expect from the new luxury SUV. The all-new 2025 Navigator is going to adopt the design language used by its smaller counterparts, Aviator and Nautilus. The SUV is getting an updated grille, significantly larger, and with rounded edges. Though the headlights are under wraps for now, we're betting on slimmer profiles with styling cues akin to other recent Lincoln models. At the rear, a LED strip links the tail lights. A big exhaust adds some muscle under the bumper on the prototype. The production version won't feature such plain design. While we could catch a glimpse of the interior in the Spide prototype, it appeared largely unchanged from the previous version. The 2025 Lincoln Navigator is definitely coming with a new interface that features huge screen. On the redesigned midsize Aviator, a 13-incher is positioned at the center of the dashboard. Many Google products are now integrated, such as Assistant and Maps. For the Lux crowd, the black label is going to swap the bench in the middle row with a pair of captain's buckets. The new Central Park interior theme will be carried over, as well as the invitation, while older trims like Yacht Club and Chalet may be retired. The 2025 Lincoln Navigator is sticking with a 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 engine producing 440 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. Once a class leader in towing capacity, the Navigator got another slap when the Jeep Grand Wagoneer set a new towing record. The Lincoln's SUV could haul 8,700 pounds and the significant boost that will take it above 9,000 requires a serious revisit. Instead of just cranking up the ponies, engineers are shifting their focus to a new hybrid system. Drawing inspiration from the successful implementation in the F-150 truck, this configuration promises even better performance in the luxury SUV segment, where towing massive cargo isn't a priority. The setup based around the same 3.5-liter Turbo 6 also deploys electric motor and a battery pack to increase the maximum torque to 580 pound-feet, while the horsepower rating stays at 430. You will notice a significant improvement in fuel efficiency, with the Navigator Hybrid returning up to 23 miles per gallon, depending on the configuration. Ford and Chevrolet are also building long wheelbase versions of their full-size SUVs, including premium models under Lincoln and Cadillac badges. The latest Escalade ESV stretches out to 227 inches in length, a full 6 inches more than the current Navigator. Converted to the cargo space, that's an additional 22 cubic feet. To put it in perspective, that's like having additional space of entire cargo area behind the third row in the standard model. The new Navigator will keep the lineup, featuring the Premier as the entry-level model, Reserve as a mid-range choice, and the Black Label as the top-of-the-line package. Changes the redesign brings won't affect only the appearance and performance, it's shaking up the price tags too. Plenty of novelties will cost and the new 2025 Navigator could punch in at $90,000. Reserve will already be above $100,000 and Black Label is going to cost approximately $125,000. Opting for the long wheelbase version will tack on an additional $3,000 to the price of the reserve and black label trims.